Hey everybody and welcome back to more Kickstarter Crap Today. Subscribe and look at is called Beat Balls, a new way to beat your meat. That is a pun that I came up with. It's nowhere in this video or this project at all. I came up with that shit. So just remember that when you think, oh, iDubbbz doesn't even write his own jokes. He just uses the puns that exist in the project already. Not true. Taste is the sensation produced when a substance reacts chemically on the tongue. Hearing is the ability to perceive sound by detecting vibrations. Do you know what sound tastes like? Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, God, I gotta censor this! Oh, my Christ! Shit, she's penetrating with, with, her, with her fucking tongue! After watching the video, I'm certain that most of you guys know what product they're trying to sell. It's fairly obvious if you pay the slightest bit of attention. Through a combination of programming, design, and just the right amount of absurdity, we have developed a code that converts music into taste. More specifically, a code that translates music into different recipes for meatballs, allowing you, for the first time in history, to find out how Gangnam Style, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Beat It could taste. Now you guys might be thinking that this whole thing's a joke, but it's not a joke. I looked at a project minutes ago where it was uh, a 3D printed plastic foam. There was no actual components and it. it was like, oh, no technology, etc., etc. That was obviously a joke. They, they had fake quotes at the bottom, all this shit. It was like, okay, funny joke, haha, <laughs> I can move on and not give you any money for this shitty product. This one, there's no jokes in there. I mean, the, the, the biggest joke they have is when you look at the reward tiers and it says, Beyonce's balls in your mouth or Justin Bieber's balls in your mouth. That's the biggest joke on the whole thing. And, you know, I'll give it a little chuckle, all right? Haha, <laughs> good joke. Beat Balls is a project developed by us, 54 students from the Interactive Art Director program at Hyper Island in Stockholm, Sweden. Okay, I will admit that that, that sentence kind of sounded like a joke. I mean, Hyper Island, Sweden, 54 students. I mean, the whole thing... Sounds like a big fucking joke. The worst part about this project isn't that they're making meatballs out of music, and that's sort of a dumb way of putting it anyway, right? They're, they're actually using arbitrary stats from a song to turn a meatball into a really shitty meatball. That's the worst part. What they're doing is, uh, let's take Pharrell Williams' Happy as an example. The, the song Happy by Pharrell Williams has 74 energy. It also has... 13 chatter and 29 liveness. I'd imagine they meant liveliness, but maybe they meant liveness. The the degree in which it's performed live, I suppose. And then they have popularity, uh, 127 tempo, um, duration. I mean, some of these are things, right? But I don't know why they determined that tempo has to equal lemon zest and that uh, that mood has to equal strawberries. I'm not quite sure what the connection there is. In any case, we have Pharrell Williams Meatball, which consists of chickpeas, curry, lemon zest, strawberries, garlic, and Thai basil. So basically, a shitty meatball. And you're gonna get the same result in uh, just about every song you, uh, you, you put into the meatball making machine. For $20, you will get one Beatballs poster of your choice and a bonus Beatballs sticker. Oh, 20 bucks for a sticker and a poster, what a bargain. For $30, you can get one e-cookbook, so you can make recipes such as Adele's famous song, Rolling in the Meat. I came up with that one. Rolling in the Meat? <laughs> oh, man. $45 will get you one Beats Ball t-shirt of your choice. You can get Beat My Balls, Beyonce's Balls in Your Mouth, or Justin Bieber's Balls in Your Mouth. So, hilarious t-shirts for $45. The highest reward tier is $5,000. For $5,000, you get something very special. You get a meatball. But not just any meatball. You get a meatball featuring your favorite song. I mean, in my case, if I had a pledge of $5,000, which I'm going to, uh, I would have to go with uh, my, one of my favorite songs of all time, Date Rape. Yeah. I wonder what ingredients they'd put in a date, date rape meatball. One weird thing about this project that I've seen with a lot of other Kickstarter projects is the fact that they have nine backers, but they've raised $9,000. Uh, there's sort of a discrepancy, because as you scroll down, you're not going to 
see any huge donations. So you have to wonder where the $9,000 came from. You know, is it the person who made the project? Is it just a glitch in the system? I'm not exactly sure how it happens, but I've seen it way more than once. I've seen it four or five times. And uh, I just thought that was worth mentioning. That's There's no other point here than that. Weird, right, guys? We have also built a working prototype of Beatbolizer, a machine that takes the recipes from Beatballs and mixes, rolls, and cooks the meatballs just by pressing play on your phone. Okay, I'm hearing some of you guys. Some of you guys are saying, oh, but the production value on that video was pretty good, and they got some high-quality prints on here, and it looks good. It looks like a well-made Kickstarter project. Yes, yes. If you have students... 54 Swedish students in a design class, they sure as fuck better make a nice looking Kickstarter project. This thing, yeah, yeah, fuck. It's got, it's got all the tiers laid out nicely. You can look at an illustration, an infographic, gives you everything you need. They, I'm sure they took a shit ton of design classes at Hyper Island, okay? But uh, when, when it comes to the actual product that they're trying to sell, it's shit. See, there's... A lot of you guys don't understand this. There's multiple categories here, all right? There's some categories of Kickstarter projects where it's like, oh, it's shit all around. Shitty product, shitty idea, shitty project, sh shitty video, shitty audio. Everything's shitty, all right? This one, a little bit different, right? A little bit different. Kickstarter project itself, hey, it's, you got, it's got a good outline. It's got it's well, well formatted. Everything, it, it hits all the points, right? But the product is shitty, okay? The product is shitty. And if that's the joke of it, so be it. You know, I'm on board, guys. Hey, Sweden, give me a call next time. Let me know you and your boys at Hyper Island are going to be doing some sort of weird tongue-to-ear fellatio project, all right? Then then I'll hop on board. I'll, I'll, I'll be on the first, take the first train ride to Sweden. Hi, Dubs, there's no, there's no train ride to Sweden from California. Oh, there isn't? Oh, fucking newsflash, dipshit. Delivery time might be delayed due to high production volume. Holy shit. That is a pithy and accurate risks and challenges section. Can't really uh, critique it. I mean, we can probably have a shit ton more risks like our meatballs suck ass. That might be a risk. That is going to do it for this episode of Kickstarter Crap. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Remember to share with a friend on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube.com, slash SV, and remember to do it next time when I beat... My baby. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. For 300 pounds, you can write five sensible lines of the final script. All right, so it's a good thing that he put the qualifier sensible on there because what, what I would say is, is something along the lines of, Pikachu, use Thunder Wipe now. Puckle Puckle, Thunder Wipe. Great job, Pac-Man. You really did that goob like Epic Wind style. Paco Paco, Mickey Mickey Boo Boo. These meatballs are going to suck ass. You're gonna find chunks of strawberry and coriander in your meatball. You are going to be sorely disappointed, you fuckwit retards.